I lost you. I don't know what happened there. Um, anyway, back to my little shop of horrors and trying to get this thing to stand up by itself. stay this time okay maybe so anyway I started started videoing this whole process and the phone fell over and stopped so I got this stupid little ring off it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be but that's because I'm an old Ford mechanic and I've been to grandma's house before and I had these tools here or this tool that I customized 25 years ago. This is for opening up the little C-clip on Ford emergency brake cable retain retainers on their rear brakes. If you don't got that, you're going to fight them miserable whores hard. So, that was enough to get the little ring to kind of, you know, break loose from where it's been sitting for 80 years. And, of course, this being what we call a Jesus clip because when I slid it off the end of the shaft here, it went flying, and then you go, Jesus, and then you got to get on your hands and knees and go find a damn thing, so, but luckily it bounced off my fat belly and didn't go far. So, where the camera died on this last episode that I was trying to do here, I'll show you what I found. This piece here, they call this a shorting necklace. Uh, a necklace because these little copper things are supposed to go like you know like that it's centrifugal force forces those out I don't know if you can see it here there's a there's a spring that holds this in and when I pop this out about eight of those were st sticking out like that stuck and that would explain why this thing is not wanting to take off and start because it uses the brushes on the armature to get the, the winding or to get the this thing spinning and then once it gets to a certain rpm centrifugal force overcomes the spring and these things all flip out in theory and they start touching the inside of the armature here on the, the back side of these and that's when induction takes over and the motor takes off. So when I open this up and I see eight of these, six, eight of these things sticking out like that, that means it was trying to do induction and repulsion at the same time, which would explain why it didn't want to run anymore. God, God amazing, you know, something eight years old doesn't want to work right. Even though it did when I first got it. Well, come back here, yeah. So anyway, now I'm having trouble getting this to come past the shaft even though I cleaned that up. And I do not want to pry on those little necklace pieces. Because if you screw one of those up, they're all done. eBay save us all, right? Come on. Gent gentle persuasion. Brute force and ignorance, one of my preferred methods. So, the plan is here, as if there was such a plan. You can still see what's going on. Oh, probably not. God damn it. Right. The plan here is, is if I can get this necklace thing off of here, is to throw it in a sonic cleaner that I got over here and get all the gunk out of it. Get the thing cleaned up. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Come on, Doc. Come to Daddy. Come on. Quit rolling around, you prick. It's so much fun, you know. You can't really put this thing in a vice without screwing shit up. So I'm fighting it here on the bench freehand. Come back here. And I'm hoping if I get this off of here and get it cleaned up that that will cure my issue on a related note ooh, look at you oh there it went it's oh, Jesus clip too 
there we are okay i don't know if you can see that or not these things you can see the spring the spring don't look to be in all that perfect a shape it's pretty crappy looking actually i'm gonna have to straighten this out a little bit but yeah these things flip back and forth and you can take the spring off and these are captive they don't fall out thank god because that would be the first thing that you think but you see them they're sticking right and you don't want that so i'm betting what i need here after i clean this up is a new spring and god help you there i think the only thing you could do would be to take this to a bearing place and find a an oil seal that uses that type of the same diameter because this one's pretty freaking hammered. Where's my little... Where's my finger jabbing tool? Because you end up jabbing your damn finger every time you use this for stuff you're not supposed to. Come to daddy. Come to daddy. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that don't look too smiley, huh? I don't know if there's much you can do about that. To try to find something to replace it and jesus so anyway now you can see yeah these are all sticking so i'm gonna throw this puppy in the bath hot bath water with some simple green clean this joker up and see about maybe trying to get that where i dented it pushed back out a little bit but that's the story of the shorting necklace now let's get in here and it don't look horrible i'm gonna have to clean all that up very carefully without leaving any debris and clean this shaft up a little better and <clears throat> speaking of related items i I had to order new bearings for this thing. The bearings were bad. And I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but yeah, that little bastard. New direction or something like that. New departure. New departure. 7502. Doesn't doesn't change over in any of the crossover lists that I found. So I found this one bearing locating outfit and they said they had them $10 a piece $12.95 shipping so $32 $33 and they finally showed up very cool right very cool right well if you'll notice this one the original is shielded on both sides oh no 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 we gotta save a nickel so there's no shielding on that side. Dirty, freaking cheap jackasses. Say, oh, they saved a nickel though. So the plan is here is to put the open side down, facing down. Try to keep crap out of there. I don't know if I can come up with something to make a shield out of. If I can pry that shield out of there. No, I ain't gonna try and pry that shield out of there and reuse it. That'd be a freaking fiasco. So anyway, this is where I'm at. Um, I'm going to clean this up, clean clean that thing up. I don't know about that damn spring. Uh, once I get it cleaned up, we'll see if it holds or not. If it doesn't, then I'm then I'm it's going to be go to a bearing place and go, I need something like this, and watch their face fall. So there it is, the continuing saga of my life appreciate it y'all showing up the like the thumbs up the subscribe whatever it is share whatever you do on the internet these days and i'm gonna go back to thrashing away on my little projects thanks for showing up bye